Hi guys, today we'll be going over how to display the currency sign in SQL. Don't forget to hit the like button so this video can reach out to other people that may need it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, this will mean a lot to me. Let's start then! Okay, so let's use this query here and run it. As you can see, we have four columns, a purchase order ID, the due date, product ID, and the unit price. The column that we should focus on within these results is the unit price. Why? Because uh, usually a price is what's supposed to uh, be assigned to a currency sign. And we will work with that column and I'll show you here how we can add the dollar sign. Uh, we have several ways how to do it. The first one will be concatenating uh, the dollar sign with the value in this column here. And the way we do that is we put our single quote, dollar sign, single quote, plus and we need to actually cast this column, unit price, as bar char character. Let's give it 50. Close our parentheses and let's call it unit price mod for modif modified. As you can see here, we have our dollar sign assigned to the value on the previous column, which is the unit price, because we use the same column in our modified uh, column, which is this one here. Now, what you can see here is that the majority of those numbers, especially the ones with the longest uh, digits of uh, decimals or uh, like this one has four decimals uh, and for example this one here as you can see when we did this com command or syntax it did actually uh, round it up or did round up the, the decimals within the, the new column that we created which is the unit price mod now Let's see how we can go about um, adding, for example, this dollar sign in a different method. Okay, so I will show you here a second method that will be within the command or function format. And we need our column that we need to work with which will be the unit price and we, we need to add the comma finger quote and letter C finger quote then we need our comma and another single quote E N dash US or United States then we can close our parentheses and let's call this for example dollar because we will be actually displaying the dollar sign in here for the US then well, let's call it US dollar okay now this is the second method how you can add the dollar sign to any price value and right now uh, we can also add different uh, uh, currency signs to the same column based on countries for example let's say we have the country of france now what i can do here i can copy this exact syntax and instead of us let me add the code for france which is fr and let me call here france 
price. Let's just call it this way. Now, when I execute it, you will see that it did add the currency assigned to the country France, which is the euro. Now, we can add or try another one here. For example, let's try Germany. G like George and R like Robert. Germany. Price. And let's run it. So it looks like it did give us the same exact sign that uh, got assigned to the French or France price column. And the reason why th this happened is because both countries are under the European Union. They all use actually uh, the, the euro currency. Uh, let's, let me show you another one. Here, let's try, for example, Spain. Spain will be ES. And I will call it Spain price. And the same thing. Spain is because uh, that country is also under the European Union. That's why you will see the euro sign within the price. Now, let's try something else. Uh, for example, uh, let's try the Chinese currency. This was yes. All right, so for the Chinese, let's call it the yen price. And in order to do that, we will need a different code here, which will be our ZH. Yen for the yen, and as you can see, now we have different currency for a different country that is completely outside of the European Union. Now, let's try a different one here, and this one is going to be for Thailand. So pretty much I'm going to copy the same exact syntax. The only thing that I will change is the code for Thailand. That will be a TH and in lowercase and a TH in uh, uppercase. And there you go. That will be the currency for Thailand, they, which they call Thai Baht. It's spelled this way. So I'm just going to type it here. This is how it's spelled. T-H-A-I space, space B-A-H-T. Okay, so I'm going to remove that from here. So, this was actually how you can change or add uh, any currency sign to uh, any price or currency money or small money uh, data type column. And thank you for watching.